Hi everyone, Federico here with my NK1 CPU. This is a demo video showing some of the new features I had in my version 2. If you missed the first video, I will leave a link in the video description. So, this is my new LCD display interface, while this is the Start 9 programming interface, which I preloaded with some programs we're gonna run now. Last time I was using an Arduino Nano to load the programs out of a computer. This will hopefully answer any question about it, the microcontrollers in the board driving it, instead of the whole logic you can see going on here. So let's get started by connecting the programming interface to the socket. Let's load the first program. The first program is actually a test suite. It contains 18 hardware tests. We may want to run it just to make sure everything is working before we start with the video. And we're good to go. Perfect. Everything is working. It tests every single component here of the board. And that we're good. So the next thing we're going to show you is a sim very simple program. It's the um, display counter. So you can start from 0 to 255 in the output display and mirrors out the value onto the LCD display. So let's speed it up just a little bit. So you can see here 0, 1, all right. And now we should go through. 255 and stop. Here we are, perfect. Moving on, we have the simple Fibonacci test. This is the really same I showed you in the last video. In fact, it, it doesn't have the display mirroring feature, so it just show up the numbers here. It works, perfect. Next, we have the Let's keep some of the old programs I already showed you. Let's see it primes actually. This is really fascinating because it's really fast. This is gonna show you how fast this actually is. So the program is not loaded. Let's start slowly. So the first number is okay, three, seven. Let's speed it up. Let's see how, how fast it can go. So this is a maximum speed. Notice that here the bottleneck is actually the display itself because this is way slower than the CPU clock. So every time he has to pull out a number to the screen, he has to wait for it to be ready for accepting the next number. And this mechanism here is working with the interrupt interface I designed. So essentially once the screen is ready to accept a new number, it triggers um, an interrupt to the processor. Okay, next we have a simple hello world test for the display. Pretty nice, nothing special actually. Perfect. The next programs I'm gonna show you are two implementation of the sorting algorithms, in particular the merge sort and the quick sort. Hopefully I will add a timer on screen just to show you the speed difference among the two algorithms. But let's get started by loading the first program, the merge sort and let's see how it works. Let's slow it down. Oh, it already started actually, sorry. So, uh, what so what it does is printing out the sequence to be sorted. Now, then it starts the actual sorting subroutine. When it's done printing. Okay, now it's sorting. Since this is the recursive implementation of the merge sort, it's cool to see the stack pointer going up and down representing all the values called to the recursive function. This essentially represents all the stack frames being allocated and deallocated after each subcall. Good, so let's get started and try and train for the final test. So this is the merge sort at relatively maximum speed. Let's go. Perfect, it's finished, the sequence is sorted. Let's, go, let's move on for the quick sort. It 
Let's load it. Let's turn it on. Start. Well, it was a lot quicker. So guys, thank you for watching. Please let me know what do you think in the, in the comment section. If you're interested, I will leave all the links to the project in the video description. This is totally open source. You can find everything from schematics to coding on GitHub. Also, follow me on Twitter if you want to have the last update about this computer. And thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.